Welcome everyone, Jan O'Brien, WBNL Coaching. Thanks for visiting our channel and checking out this video today, which is entitled Part Two of the Five Daily Disciplines. I recorded a video uh, previously on the first two. Today I'm gonna cover the other three of the daily disciplines that I am convinced, and I know for sure that if you embrace this and you make a commitment to yourself in your business, you truly can meet all your goals, and if you want to, double or even triple your income. Before I dive into the three daily discipline, the three additional daily disciplines out of the five, uh, if you're liking what you're seeing on our channel, please do us a favor, subscribe, hit the notification bells. We put content out three days a week. For myself, I focus on real estate specific business and coaching tips for agents taking it to the next level, particularly teams as well, and brokers, that's my area of specialty but we're gonna cover everything about your real estate career on this channel, including marketing, tech tips, and my partners are gonna help you understand how to use Canva better and how to use all things technology and video and social media. We're here for you. We wanna help you reach and exceed all your real estate goals. So let's dive in. This is part two of the five daily disciplines. As a quick review, here are all five. I covered the first two in part one your morning well-being practice, and being an industry and market expert. Today, I'm gonna to cover the next three. Lead generation, one to two daily, uh, one to two hours daily, design and follow your perfect week, and mastering these key sales skills and how you can do all three of those. All right, here we go. Number three. Number three is not anything you haven't heard before, I know. I don't like using the prospecting word. To me, it's all about attracting new business, having that confidence like I talked about in video one, that you have something to say to someone and picking up the phone and making a connection with a human being that ultimately wants your service. This can be fun and this is why I'm starting with this today. I don't want you to think of this as prospecting. I don't even like that word as I mentioned. Come up with something that works for you. I've heard people call it the hour of power. This, you know, something that is going to get you juiced and fired up about this is the thing I do every day for at least one hour that keeps me going in the business. It's about finding the next person that's gonna work with you, building the pipeline, and then focusing on all the other things that you need to do today that, you're, that keep you so crazy busy that you say, I never have time to build business. Well, this is why your career is like this or is in the, you know, the gutter, if you will, or it's not where you want it to be. Because if you're not doing something to find ways to attract people and make those connections, this business is all about relationships with people, your clients, your database, getting business from there. But you also have to do things to continue to make that happen, even with people you know, and then lead generation. On the channel here, we're gonna be sharing with you all kinds of ways that you can make business happen. Today, I'm talking about the daily disciplines and this one right here can change your world. Now, what do you have to do? You have to put it in your calendar. It has to be a non-negotiable commitment, a, an appointment with yourself. So, and this is the analogy I like to use. So just bear with me here for a second. I do this in coaching all the time. So if I, if I say to you, if you're my coaching client and I say, client, if you had a $2 million listing appointment, for tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. And, and so you have this appointment tomorrow, 10 o'clock, $2 million listing appointment, it's a referral, you've done your homework, you're excited, you know you're gonna list it. And someone calls you right now, today, and says, hey, client, uh, you know, Jan, John, Joe, whatever your name is, hey, I wanna go look at houses today. Can you work with me? Or I need you to go, a client calls and need you to help them with something, okay? Now I'm not talking about an emergency situation and they can only do it tomorrow at 10 o'clock, how would you handle that person? All right, so once again, you have a $2 million slam dunk listing appointment tomorrow at 10 o'clock. It's now 10 o'clock today, and someone calls you and says, hey, can you look at houses with me tomorrow at 10 o'clock? $300,000 price point. What are you gonna do? I know what you're gonna do. You're going to tell that person, you know what? I have a commitment from 10 to 12, but I'm available here, here, and here. You're gonna find a solution. That's the way you need to think about this block of time that you're doing with yourself because you could find that $2 million listing. It's not gonna happen if you don't do it. But we don't think of it like that. So as soon as somebody calls you, so now let's substitute 10 to 11 is when you make your calls. Now someone's calling you to, 
you know, today for tomorrow and they want you to go look at houses and they can only do it from 10 to 11. Now, the reality is that's not the only time, but that's how you feel and you don't want to lose it. So the first thing you do is cancel your lead generation time. Now, this is what I want to say to you. I just want you to think about that. All right. I'm not saying you don't modify your schedule. What I'm saying is you wouldn't do it if you had a $2 million listing appointment. All right. So you're not seeing the value of this time for yourself and you're not making the commitment to yourself. When you make that shift and do that, your life's changed, man. It's going to happen for you. You are going to hit all your goals and then some. You're gonna control your schedule. That's what these are about here today. Now, if, if you have to go ahead and break that commitment with yourself, then this is all I'm asking you to do. Find another time in the day that you're gonna make up for it and not tomorrow or the next day because that's what happens. A whole week goes by and your schedule is packed with all these other things and there's absolutely no business building, no income producing activities. That's what I mean by that. Get an accountability partner, hire a coach, get somebody to help you. Set goals around this, meaning every day I have a goal. You can make a simple goal. A simple affirmation could be, I make one appointment a day. My goal is one appointment. I'm gonna make phone calls so I get one appointment. Or you can say, I wanna make five connections with people in my database that are in my CRM. All right, and your CRM is ultimately the key to this. You've got to use it as a virtual assistant. Future videos coming on how to leverage the power of your CRM and how to set best practices so this is working for you. And you sit down and you don't waste time in that hour of lead generation. You clearly know who you need to call. You're ready to rock and roll. You're making it happen. All right, what counts? All income producing activities count. That's everything I just was mentioning, calling sessions. But you know what? You can use the power of your phone in a lot of ways. Picking up the phone and making the call is the most powerful way. Video texting and video, uh, sending a video email would count if it's specific. I'm not counting mass texts and mass emails. I, I'm not, I really think this needs to be about getting a two-way text communication going on. So uh, there are ways that you can make this happen to not have to always be calling. Some people prefer a phone, uh, a uh, text over a phone call. Some people like direct messaging in Facebook, for example. That's all about knowing your client, uh, using all the different, uh, if it's your past clients that you're calling or your sphere of influence. If it's leads and so forth, you gotta try all different ways to see what's going to work to get people to connect with you. Now, it's people that are in your database, it's lead follow-up, your CRM is the key to telling you who to call today if you're using it properly. Circle prospecting, calling around just listed, just sold, open houses. These are all things that can work. I'm gonna tell you what I call an active open house also counts. What does that mean? You, you prepare to do a great open house, and if you can do open houses as we record this, and it's not, you're, you're able to actually do that in, in, in the pandemic, but you, if no one shows up to your open house, you are prepared to make calls, bring your, bring your computer. Uh, be able to have a way to, to have a personal hotspot. Log into your CRM, make calls, do texts, do the things that you need to do to keep on business building. That counts. Now I have a, a document for you for this. Uh, wait till the end here. I'm going to show you where you can grab the bonus downloads. This one's called a weekly performance scorecard. It'll help you keep track of how well you're doing on a daily and weekly basis with your lead gen. Your CRM is also gonna record everything for you, but this checklist, is this scorecard is just a little something else that will help you. All right, number four of the daily disciplines is more of something that you need to do and get done, which is called design your perfect week. Let me walk you through it. And now you're not gonna spend a lot of time on this every day. This just becomes a habit that you have a way you manage your schedule and your time so that you that you are running your business and your schedule and your clients aren't running you. Now, this is the mind shift change that I really want you to embrace again, that you have to do these things, in my opinion, in my experience, in your perfect week first, and then fill it in with everything else. Now, most people, and I've been you know, guilty of this as well, do it the other way. Your day gets filled up with all these things that you feel like are important and you need to do. And before you know it, you spent eight, 10 plus hours and you didn't do anything to generate any business. So how do we start? Number one, put in your daily routine, block it into your schedule, make that commitment to yourself. Number two, personal time. That I'm talking about a day off and a weekend off. You've got to not burn out in this business. You need to take a day off. You shouldn't be working seven days a week. 
So block that out in your calendar. Next, Legion. That's what it, where's that hour or two that you're gonna put into your calendar. You'll move it if you have to, but it's in your calendar and you're doing your best to stick to this perfect week. Next, client appointments. They're gonna fill in, all right? Then, one more piece, then you're gonna put everything else in. I want you to time block one to two hours per week. A block of time, just once a week, more if you can do it because you have a lot of things to work on in your business, is to work on your business. You are consistently, 99% of the time, most of you, working in your business. It's chaotic. You're running ragged. You're working all these crazy hours. It's, it's impacting your personal life, your physical well-being. It impacts it. This is where we're starting to control this. This is going to help big time. Now what goes on there is everything else. Watching this YouTube video, taking time for training classes. I'm not saying that stuff's not important. Going into getting ready, preparing, that we fill our days up with all of that. But that goes in after you do the other priorities. I hope you get what I'm talking about. The supporting document we have for you on this one is the Excel. We call it the perfect week. It's an example of what a perfect week looks like. You can get that uh, in the link that I'm going to give you here in just a moment. Now, it brings me to finally, number five, master these sales skills. Again, all I want you to do on this one is identify where you need to refine and work on. So I want to, I want to go through them really quick and I'm going to, I'm going to suggest to you, take a note, jot it down, uh, stop the video if you need to, and rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. Here are the four groupings of sales skills as the way I see it. The first group is communicating and listening. And by that, I simply mean, do you need to work a little bit on your interpersonal communication? Are you being heard? Do you feel like you listen? Do you understand what active listening is? Can you repeat back to someone because you're really paying attention to them when they're speaking to you? You may need to work on this. I'll show you in a moment how to go get some help on this, but let me walk through them first. Next is prospecting and converting. Yes, I used the P word, the prospecting word. Needed to throw it in there because most people understand that, but that's that lead gen activities. That's, that's that attracting business. That's the word I like. Because attracting business means you're looking for the person that you want to work with and wants to work with you. It makes it a lot more in alignment and it's a lot more fun. But do you need to work on that? Do you need to work on role playing and scripts? You need to identify that. Are you not converting leads? Do you need work on that? The next area is presenting skills and qualifying skills, particularly buyers and sellers. Are you really good at presenting everything that you need to do to convince someone to work with you as a buyer or a seller? Uh, do you know the qualifying questions? Do you have great materials that help you with that? Do you need to work on that? Identify it, give yourself a rating one to 10. And finally, negotiating and closing skills. Where do you need help? Identify, rate yourself one to 10. And as far as the daily discipline, this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna walk through some ways that you can go get uh, information on this and then work into your daily schedule. The best time to do this, by the way, is if you basically just need to practice presenting or negotiating or closing or objection handling or whatever it is, you can tack it into that, that daily activity, that one to two hours, take 10 to 15 minutes, especially if you have an accountability partner and role play, practice, get in front of the mirror and, and practice. That's how you're gonna increase, one of the ways that you can increase your skill, uh, your ability and master these skills. So daily practice, get an accountability partner, as I mentioned, hire a coach or mentor that will help you, start a mastermind group, join a mastermind group. There's plenty of them on Facebook. This is where you can find other people who are looking to, to do these things. Obviously experience is always gonna be the best teacher. And then ultimately you can take specific training classes, you can look for those classes. We, pro we provide a lot of this training. Check out wbnlcoaching.com. We are currently revamping. Uh, our team builder program is our signature product, but we are revamping our fundamental program as well as our uh, business builder program where uh, to help uh, you know more advanced agents take it to the next level. Thanks for listening. Here's the link where you can go get that download uh, with the materials that come with everything today. We appreciate you listening. Please subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in the next video.